And we are back live at scenic JW Chick Austin Field. Teams getting lined up for this fourth and five play. Lakeside D looking to make another crucial stop in their own territory. We'll see if they can get it here. There's the snap. Simmons rolling right. He's got nowhere to go, and he is taken down in the backfield. It is number 52, Riley Benton, picking up the sack for the Rams. Giving up the glory to God. And it's going to be a turnover on downs. Lakeside football. There are many words that people use to describe Riley Benton. Humble. Leader. Relentless. Courageous. But the one word he wants you to remember him for might surprise you. I do know what one word I would want people to remember me by, and that would be imperfect. Imperfect. Riley faced many childhood struggles. At a young age, my parents got divorced, so that, that was kind of an unspoken thing in my house, really. It, it hurt me pretty bad because you didn't have that, like every human needs that motherly thing, you know? And uh, I didn't have that, so that kind of led to my uh, road down drug addiction and alcoholism. And About the fifth or sixth grade, I started getting into alcohol. I started drinking alcohol. And uh, which led to anger problems. And I started getting into fights at school. And I was that kid at school that no one wanted to be around. I was the kid that everybody thought was super mean and just no one wanted to be around me. And that just built on to all the stuff I was going through inside. And, and about, the seventh, about the seventh grade, I started getting into drugs. I started getting into marijuana. I started selling marijuana. I started to help grow marijuana. I was just, at that, at that age, I just, I knew that I was going to die. And the sad part was I was okay with it. One visit to Fields of Faith, though, changed everything. I remember, I remember it one of the clearest out of any day that I've ever had. Uh, I was in eighth grade, and I had no idea what Fields of Faith meant, and like it's in the name, Fields of Faith. So you know, I heard there was going to be pizza, so I was like, I'm there, I'm on it, let's do this. And uh, I got there, and I, I just there was so much more that I had no idea that was going to change my life from that day on, and. Uh, I know we went out on the field and they started talking about Jesus and testimonies. It was a way I never heard it because I've always heard it in a, this is religion, this is rules, and not uh, this is a relationship, like you can be happy in life kind of thing. And uh, I know they just started talking and people started giving their testimony and I just felt Jesus for the first time really pull on me and it just wrecked my life completely in a good way. And, you know, I was... I've died of the flesh and Holy Spirit entered me and I've never been the same. I never will be the same. After Fields of Faith, those close to Riley noticed an immediate change. Oh, it's night and day. It's like, honestly. Riley would always be that kid who was always like, um, what do I need next? Get me on to the next thing. Bouncing from like one girl to the next, one party to the next, just whatever. Now you look at him and like, I honestly couldn't see Riley going to a party for any other reason than to like, pick up a friend that he knew that needed help. Riley also began serving a leadership role in Lakeside's Fellowship of Christian Athletes. Riley really um, stood as a leader in the group. Um, he facilitated several of the FCA meetings where he was the speaker and he gave his testimony as to how you know he invited Christ into his life. He had some rough times and he had some dark times. And um, to be able to share that he has overcame that by his love of Christ and inviting Christ into his heart and totally changing the, um, the friends that he kept and, uh, and the ones that he had to leave behind, he also witnessed to. Over the years, FCA sponsor Christy Newman has watched Riley grow as a follower of Christ. I have witnessed more of um, an increased confidence when he's telling his testimony. Last year, at the beginning of the year, he was a little bit more reserved when he talked about it. And I, I think that he's gained um, just assurance and more confidence in um, leading people to Christ. Riley also serves as an encourager to those who share in his faith. 
at the most recent uh, Fields of Faith 2019, uh, Riley had been bothering me all day because um, there were those people that go back to the um, back to go after go and pray after people, and Riley had been bothering me all day. Like, you know, you're a prayer warrior. You know, you're this and that. Like, because I hadn't really been feeling it, and I remember he finally got me about 30 minutes before Fields of Faith started, and I said, you know what, Riley, I'll make you a deal. I'll go back there to pray for people if you pray over me right now. And I don't know how he did it, but he was literally speaking things that were going on that I had never told him about. Like, he was just crazy like that. And then once I went back there, I felt like that's where I was meant to be kind of a deal. And I would have never been there if it wouldn't have been for Riley. Riley also honors God through one of his biggest passions, football. Lakeside, Lakeside football has definitely helped my life. It's taught me things that I know I wouldn't have learned with home life and just just have grit and toughness and not everything's going to be given to you. It's not all about all the flashy stuff you see on social media. It's just, it's the brotherhood. It's the process of working towards something. Even if you don't get it, it's just learning to uh, progress and be happy with the progress that happens regardless of the end result. According to Riley's coaches, He's also had a major impact on the program itself. He's been a solid leader. You know, what he says is what he's going to do. Uh, he leads by example, and he's a guy that's going to be uh, early in and, and laid out, and he has a great attitude. That's the main thing. It may be, you know, 100 degrees in August, and he's going to have a great attitude, and he's going to try to uh, pump up his teammates and try to get the best out of them. He was the heart and soul of the defense, you know, um, especially in the defensive front. So I uh, did a great job. Uh, for us and uh, wish I had another year with him, but he, he's got to go on to bigger, better things. But he was definitely uh, our leader on that side of the ball. Heading into his senior season, Riley wanted to make sure that it was a special one. At the beginning of the season, I was really thinking about it. And uh, you start thinking of all those things that every football player, when they're sitting in their bed, thinks about uh, senior season. Uh, I want to get all state. I want to do this. I want to do that. And I was like, you know, why, why am I doing this? Like, why? I just had to get down to a heart to heart with myself. And I was like, why am I playing this? Why am, like, what's, what's my purpose? Why am I here? And I was like, I mean, what God did on the track right over there, just, it changed my life forever. And I want other people to know that they can experience that no matter where they come from. I was like, that, that's what I had to do. And I remember our youth group was at a camp out. And I remember just sitting in front of the fire and it sounds so cliche, but I was like, God, like, I give you this season, no matter what. If I get injured, so be it. If my, I don't get to play all season, so be it. But God, I want you to be glorified. I want people to see you and not me. And a special season it was. After dropping two of their first four games, the Rams went on a five-game win streak, with Riley making many crucial plays along the way. The year came to a head, though, with the final game of the regular season. Lakeside Rams getting ready to take on the Hot Springs Trojans, the cross-town rivalry that happens in week 10 of every season. And uh, it is going to be a game for the history books tonight. With a win, Lakeside gets it outright, gets the conference championship outright, outright and the one seed. The captains tonight for the Rams, Chase Norwood, Jesus Damian, Riley Benton, and Reagan French. I just got so nervous, you know. I got those pregame jitters, and I was like, this is really going to happen. And plus, I, I think I had like a small case of like a cold or something, so I was super sick. And uh, it was all just kind of hit me at once. It soon became clear that neither of these things was going to stop Riley from having a game to remember. That last uh, conference game versus Hot Springs, I thought he had a really good football game of just kind of disrupting and, 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 and causing some, some of his other teammates to be able to shine. He had had good good year, good games throughout the year, but I think that Hot Springs game and in the end was one that I, I thought he produced well. I'm going to God. Your Lakeside Rams are the outright conference champions in the 5A South. Thank you, Jesus. Oh. Made history. Indeed, Lakeside football had made history. The Rams 2019 title marked their first undisputed conference championship in over four decades. After the game, it became clear that something very special had just taken place. At the end of the game, it was just a total celebration. Everything that came together, just the hard work, because it was undeniable that the hard work was the reason that we won it. 
and uh, it was just awesome sharing that moment with the Lakeside community and alma mater and our teammates. I loved it. It was club dub, man. It was club dub on the bus and in the locker room. You know, we, we playing music and and flicking the lights on and off on the bus and jumping around. So it, it was definitely club dub that night and. Uh, Everybody was excited, man. We, we played a heck of a game. It was a storybook ending to a season that saw Riley collect many achievements, including his first All-State selection. It also serves as a highlight in a continuing journey that has taught Riley much about himself. With hard work, you can literally come from anywhere and you can make it. You can be somebody and you can overcome all those lies the world tries to tell you. Through all the things that God blessed me with, and all glory to God because there's no way any of this thing that could happen this year would have been without God. And if I want people from our class and from everyone that's ever known me is just know that I was imperfect, but I was seen as worthy through God. And that's where I find my worth.